Ruth here, and this is my craft stash um, haul. And when I open this, just take a sneak peek. So I'm sure it actually doesn't say craft stash on the, uh, the dress label. It was uh, something publishing. So I would just, you know, I just take a sneak peek, see what it was. But um, anyway, that was rambling for 26 seconds. Okay. Um, came with a freebie. I wasn't expecting a freebie of any kind, but here it is. The Ultimate Ribbon Sentiments Greeting Stamp and Die Set. I thought that was pretty cool, you know? I wasn't expecting a freebie whatsoever. So here are the dies. It is a 10-piece set, so with the words and of the shadow, I bet. So then, here are the uh, stamps. The same. Same sentiments. But like, um, I actually don't, I'm, oh, maybe you can use the, uh, the shadow to cut out. He might be able to use a shadow to cut out the stamps. I don't know. I mean, it's... It's the right length, I think. Obviously, this one is not that one, but... I think you can use the shadow die to cut out the stamp. Yeah, that seems about right. That's pretty cool. So you don't have to just die cut the words, you can stamp it out instead. That's pretty nifty. So, I'll just shove it back in here for now. <laughs> so I can take my pictures. But yeah. Thank you, with sympathy. You are amazing. Thank you, you, and good luck. Very nice selection. Let's place it back how it was before. Alright, so that's that. Very nice. My hand's getting tired. Okay. Then, when I ordered... Excuse the blue sheet. <laughs> um, here it is. Everything else in the magazines. <laughs> but I wanted to get this by Apple Blossom. Five stamps, two dies. So I'm not even pointing right at my thumb was in the way too. Okay. So vertical sentiments, dies and stamps set. I thought that was pretty neat and it'd go well with my bamboo trellis uh, 3D embossing folder. As well as one of the things that I think is in here. I'm not sure where I'd use this instrument bright and beautiful. Besties Forever is kind of like a little younger generation words. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. You know, trust in yourself. More of a motivational you got this kind of card, I guess. And wishing you well. Get well, card. So. I mean, I definitely would probably use this one and this one. But the other three. Eh. But, mm, they are okay. Alright, so, first up, we have a die set from Spellbinders in this Die Cutting Essentials magazine. And I don't think I'll open them on camera this time. I don't have space on my bed to do that. <laughs> but, um, here is the. I wanted the and symbol. And also the uh, little other sentiments are very nice to go along with it. So it's happiness, happy birthday, many more, and love. So like, happy birthday and many more. Happiness and love, you know, blah blah blah. 
So yeah. Normally it comes with a packing slip, but I haven't come across it yet. When I fiddled. So like... This... Um, retail is $9.99, but I got it on the uh, magazine sale, as well as the 20% off Prime Day code. So I got them pretty, pretty good prices for these. Um, so I think it was like three pounds for this one, I think. So, does that one? Next up, I think this one was two pounds. I don't can't remember, but it comes with a stamp set and an embossing folder. This is the uh, Simply Cards and Paper Craft uh, magazine. It also comes with a die for the... What's the word? Dragonfly. Oh, it's nice. Nice uh, sentiments there. Deepest sympathy. Get most of thinking of you. Happy birthday. Hello. And with love. <laughs> Personally, I'm not really a dragonfly kind of person. But I thought it would be nice, and it was only two pounds seventy. So I thought it would be a nice, you know, thing. So next up, well, we'll leave the thick one for later. Okay, here we go. I think this was three pounds too. Hopefully I didn't get too high, because my mouth just went right next to the microphone before. Okay. So here we've got a die set for a wreath, a bow, and a Noel. We've got Holly Jolly, Tis the Season, Christmas Wishes, and Holly, Leaves and Berry Thing, Peace, Joy, Love, Merry and Bright. See, I understand if that thing there said merry and bright, but that's just bright and beautiful. Okay. This is also another die cutting essential magazine. And I believe it's just. Yeah. So, next. Next up. This is a Crafter's Companion based one. Let's see, does it say a brand on here? No, I don't see one. Don't see one on that one either. Well, I'll see when I look at it in depth. See if there's a brand on there. Anyway, this one is the Stampson's a Creative Stamping Magazine. We got a stencil here, got some stamps, lots of stamps, see? Yeah, well, there's a lot of Easter related, kind of, oh, we hope you feel surrounded by love at the same time. Okay, so a lot of sympathy then, as well. It's, um, Spring is from Easter is here. It's a happy Easter, I think, in here somewhere. In our thoughts. Ooh, some daffodils. That's nice. I don't have any daffodil stamps. Um, ooh, some lilies, I think. Maybe two ups in there. Be helpful if I'm actually pointing. I fell at the right thing. I'm gonna and here's the bunny, that's cute. One of the reasons why I wanted this one. This is the bunny. There's a little word that says Easter. There's some eggs and a... There's some daffodils and daisies or whatever. Happy birthday. Um... Some more flowers. Another birthday sentiment up there. Some more flowers. May your day be full of light. Uh, 
what does that say? Something flowers. Oh, the shine is getting in the way. Can't see. If there was no rain. There would be no flowers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and right here, that's also, I quite like that cross stamp as well. Hmm, big red daffodil there. Yeah, there's the, uh, the little Easter word. Another flower there. Anyway, yes. I think it's basically just this pencil and the stamp set is what's in this one. Ah, here's the picture. So I guess there's sending. Peace for blessing. Well, those are the other stuff in here. No idea what some of those flowers are, though. <laughs> but anyway, that's that one. I think it was three pounds as well. Wait, no, no, this one was the full price when I said it the I think there were two that were full price. The rest weren't. Okay, so this next one is a textures by Lou Collins based set. Another creative stamping magazine. It's got nice no, typewriter text there. A love and now an intense feeling of deep affection. Just know to say hello. Some text kind of texture stamp there. Got a butterfly and a typewriter. Plain typewriter with no thing. Happy birthday. Friend description. There are not enough words to say how much I love you. That's nice. And some other bits. There's kind of like a butterfly with text. Some other food, gears, another butterfly, but no text. That's a pretty one. Key. Um, another dragonfly, some more text, some more flowers, new books, congratulations. A very Thinky butterfly that one. Um, flower description. What does that say? You're just my type. Uh, that's weird. Especially if you use it with a typewriter. And what I've been moving out of the way is a stencil set. Typography. Double background stencils. That's nice. You got some letters and numbers in that one. Butterfly, butterfly, kind of like a spilled coffee kind of thing there. Other butterflies. That's nice. That's nice. And then I got this for the stencils and the, the what's the what's the word typewriter stamps and I like typewriters. Though I think she gave out a digital stamp of this. Oh, no, this is this one during a uh, a, a newsletter, I think. Anyway, next up we have the. Hunky Dory 
Crafting with Hunky Dory includes craft kit. Santa's on his way. Four deluxe card collection, four double sided papers, four foiled craft card, and a six tension. It's very, very happy Santa that one. Oh, those are so cool. Little die cut things. Or toppers, whatever. Let me just tip it that one so you can see it's oh, those cute Santa stairs. Have a holly jolly Christmas. Ho ho ho. Happy Christmas. Got some sparkles. Some holly. Some holly in a stocking. I don't think you'd want holly in a stocking. Uh, Santana reindeer. Santa just snatching on his couch. I guess after he finished delivering the presents. Santa with some presents. Oh, that's cute. I don't think I have Santa stamps like that either. In that design. Or artwork here. It's a style. Oh, yeah, this is on the back. This is one of the new ones. Issue 78, July to August 2024. Alright, so I'm intrigued to see what is in here. Because I never bought one of these before. That's, that was pretty cool. For yes, Santa's on his way to get started on your festive card making. Technically, already made like 30, but anyway. Um, ideas for using Hoogie Doys Diamond Club free gear. I have to look like where all the stuff is, but those are nice toppers, they're nice and shiny too. Okay, and last, but certainly not least, here is one of the new ones that came out. The Craft Essential Series 159, Hunky Dory Premium Magazine. It's similar to like the Crafters Companion one, I think. But obviously it's different brand. <laughs> um and this is nice. I mean I got it because it's got kind of, you know, Asian kind of things, but also, you know, because of the uh, bamboo and cherry blossom looking embossing folder. And these stamps look nice. Damn. It's got a very pretty bird and cherry blossom that I set to. That I also. Very lovely. And the toppers look Look at them! I quite like my Asian kind of looking toppers and stuff. That's pretty bonsai tree one. Nice, nice. Oh. 68 page idea magazine. Hunky Dory card collection Eastern Moments. Three piece die set, six A6 embossing folder, and five image sentiment sticks. These are the Eastern Moments card collection. Oh, those are very nice. I like the like builder one. Very very nice. I guess those are kind of like insert cards. I mean you can have those as insert cards too, because you don't want to really write on that or anything. I think those are more looking like insert ones with the faded stuff. Anyway. I couldn't resist, you know. I didn't want to get sold out. Because I didn't want to miss my 
Asian or, or Oriental. Is it proper word? Central Asian? <laughs> I don't know. But like, I can see that, right? I am Asian myself, anyway. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't notice before. Bakoda. Bagoda with not Fuji. Oh, cool fish. Anyway, let's just... I'm just rambling. Not right now. But anyway, yes. So this... Here are all of the magazines. Quite a magazine haul. The only other thing I bought was this one. That's the freebie. So there's one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven related magazine things. That's gotta be a big holder. It's a big holder, not a time I thought. I have no idea. But let's see. I did take a, um, a screenshot of my orders, so I guess I could show you. <clears throat> Okay, the Apple Blossom Sentiment, Myrtle Sentiments, £3.60, Lidor Magazine, Kit and Kit, £159, £14.99, that was a full price one. Um, the Winter Wreath one, which was a Dye Cutting Central Magazine, £109, it was £3. The Dragonfly one, which was simply cards and paper craft magazine, two fifty eight, which is two pounds seventy. The Creative Stamping magazine, one three three, with textures, typography, stamp and uh, stamp set and stencils, is seven ninety nine. Oh, there's more than there's, I guess it was three full, full prices. Um, Creative Stamping Magazine 132 with Springtime Wishes Stamp Set and Daisy Stencils was $7.99. Die Cutting Essentials Magazine 114 with the uh, binders and symbol and you know, this one was £3. And Hunky Dory Project Magazine Craft with Hunky Dory 178 includes Christmas Craft Kit, which was that big one with the spoils and things. You know, this, this one was seven ninety nine. Uh, so let's see, discount twenty percent off, time sale it was minus seven pounds seventy nine. So technically, one of the seven ninety nines was basically a pence, like some. Yeah. P. Um, so technically there's one, two, three, four, that was full price. There's one, two, three, four. That was, I had a discount on them before the brown discount. I mean, not bad. But yeah. I was, I don't know if, maybe it's if you go over a certain amount you get a freebie? Never said anything on my checkout or on anything. So I wasn't expecting anything. Which is great. I don't even have these either, so that's nice. So I guess, uh, first of all, thank you Craftstash for including a freebie. It's very kind of you. Um, but yes. I guess that's it, so I'm just gonna look through and sort and stuff now. Well, probably have a sandwich from hunger. Um, thank you for watching. We'll run out.